Hey and welcome to Daily Devotions, get with me, John Dyer. Today's February the 26th, 2018, and today we read in Leviticus 19 and 20 together. And today we're going to look at nine basic principles for holiness in our personal conduct. Well, the title for Leviticus 19 in the New Living Translation, as well as many other translations of the Bible, is Holiness in Personal Conduct. And I want to stay with this theme and look at some of the principles which the Bible tells us that we should live by. Now today we're going to look at a lot of verses, so again it may be helpful for you to um, look at the show notes. The link is below, or you can head over to my website at www.jtdyer.com. Well, let's look at these nine principles. Number one, remember to follow the basic principles, the Ten Commandments. Don't steal, don't lie, don't deceive one another. Leviticus 19 verse 11. Number two, Realize that holiness and personal conduct is to be measured by God's standard and not the man's. 2 Peter 3 verse 14 says, Make every effort to be found spotless, blameless and at peace with him. 3. Let the Spirit of God help you to develop a mature sense of ethics in every area of your life and relationship. But Paul wrote, Against the fruit of the Spirit there is no law. Those who belong to Christ have been crucified the sinful nature with his passions and desires since we live by the Spirit that keeps us in step with the Spirit. Number four, learn to climb the ladder of spiritual maturity. Peter writes, Add to your faith goodness and to your goodness knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control perseverance and to perseverance godliness and to godliness brotherly kindness and the brotherly kindness love for you possess the qualities in increasing measure they will keep you from becoming ineffective and unproductive in your knowledge of our lord jesus christ 2 peter 1 verses 5 to 8 number five perfect holiness and perfect conduct is only found in jesus christ but just as he who called you is holy so be holy in all you do 1 peter 1 15 number six Holiness in personal conduct starts with the motive behind every action. Samuel wrote, I know, my God, that you have tested the heart and are pleased with my integrity. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 17. Also Proverbs 5.21 says, For a man's ways are full view of the Lord, and he examines all of his paths. Number 7. Be honest, upright, and speak truthfully. Jesus said, simply let your yes be yes and your no be no. Anything beyond comes from the evil one. Matthew 5 verse 37. Number 8. Holiness in personal conduct is rooted in agape love. Jesus said that whatever other commands there may be, they are summed up in this. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfillment of the law. See Romans 39 and 10 also. Number nine, practice a golden rule in all your dealings. Jesus said, in everything do to others, you would have others do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. Matthew 7 verse 12. So as we reflect today on these nine steps, which of these basic principles of personal conduct speak most strongly to you? What steps can you take to implement this holiness in your personal conduct and are there any additional principles that you think would be beneficial to share with me or with others? If so, leave a comment. Well, let's pray. Our Father, we just thank you so much for the perfect example of holiness which is found only in Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you also that we see in your word that you call us to be holy as you are holy, and also that you promise to be transforming us daily to become more like Jesus in the way which we live, in the way which we speak, in the way which we act, to live in a way which honors you and blesses those around us. So Lord, help us live by this golden rule, doing to others as we would have others do to you in such a way to demonstrate your agape love. So Father, help us live holy lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.